Oh, hell yeah. What's up, guys? It's Curtis Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action. Today, we're doing another game review of a just-launched Steam game called The Uncertain Light at the End. This is the second in a planned trilogy. And uh, let me just give you some background, and then I'll give you the pros and cons, what I liked and didn't like. So, the background is, is it's a story-driven adventure game set in a post-apocalyptic world. Humanity is basically history. Humankind is gone, and now robots are in their place. And in this game, uh, at least in this iteration, you play as Emily, and you walk through, you you do it, you, you go through as Emily. So there you go, That that's the bit. Now, let's get into the things I liked about the game. I'm going to start with those, then I'll start with cons, and then I'll give you my uh, sort of reasoned opinion. The pros of the game is, first off, is it's a puzzle game, and it's an adventure game, adventure puzzle game, and I quite liked the puzzles. Uh, it's point-and-click puzzles, but you know what? Some of the puzzles were hard to figure out, or they were at least enjoyable, and they made me have to use my mail, and especially that uh, triangle puzzle, as you'll see in the background during this video. Uh, the other thing is the game used QuickTime events, which I found to be quite interesting. Uh, the first one actually caught me off... Uh, it caught me off guard. I was I was hiding, trying to be detected, and I didn't realize it was a quick time event because uh, I hadn't experienced one. So um, yeah, that was kind of interesting as well. And perhaps the best thing about the game is, in my opinion, the voice acting. Uh, the voice acting is very strong, especially for Emily. I'm not sure about the the Parks, he's the other guy that you talk to. I don't think his is quite as good, but Emily is very very good, and uh, it's some great uh, voice acting. The game. Uh, just a heads up, it gives me that sort of indie feel, and, you know, I really enjoyed it, but the other thing is, is it doesn't feel quite finished to me. So, it's like a somewhat finished, almost finished indie game, but it got rushed out a little bit too early. Um, that said, there's some of the issues that I didn't like about the game, and hopefully if the developers fix these, this game will be worth it. Alright, let's talk about some of the things I didn't quite like. First one that stuck out to me is you can't really skip the credits, and in 2020, you should be able to skip the credits. <laughs> I had to read a whole bunch of names that I really wasn't interested in, and yeah, it, it just doesn't work for me. So you should be able to skip the credits, and you can't. Uh, the facial animations, we're getting to the serious stuff now. I found them to be quite wooden and lacking. They lack expressiveness, and sometimes they feel kind of mistimed. So, you know, you're saying something, and the expression just doesn't match with the voice. So uh, I don't want to nitpick, but yeah, that was my experience. Um, the game had a few bugs in it as well. The second time you sit down at the computer, it locks up the game. Now, I thought this might be unique to me, but I checked with a few other people on Steam, and they had the same issues. So uh, yeah, there's bugs in the game, and if it's not a, if it's not a early release and this is a real release I think these things should be worked out so hopefully they fix that as well and I guess the last but perhaps the most important thing is the game's story just didn't really make too much sense to me like I, I understand kind of what they're trying to do but I wasn't invested all that much in the characters it felt like a series of disconnected puzzles where you're just playing you know you're just doing puzzles and you're trying to figure out things but the story was just there it just didn't really I don't know, just didn't grip me. Now, I will state that there is a third game coming or a third part in the series, so maybe it's just uh, they'll wrap it up there and it all sort of makes sense, but at this point in time, the storyline just didn't grip me. But anyways, guys, that's my gut feel for this game. Please let me know what you thought about the game. I've got a ton more footage coming up. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon.